Many times vehicles are brought into a repair facility with a complaint of pedal pulsation. It's always diagnosed as warp rotors. Rotors don't warp. Typically what causes pedal pulsation is disc thickness variation. Today we're going to talk about what the causes are and the corrections of that. So as, as we stated earlier, pedal pulsation is not caused by warp rotors. Typically what causes pedal pulsation is a thickness variation in the rotor. But what causes that thickness variation is excessive lateral runout. Lateral runout is actually the rotor wobbling on its axis back and forth. Manufacturers have really tightened that up. It used to be 10 thousandths or more. Today it's 1 thousandths or less. Virtually what happens with excessive runout, every time the rotor wobbles back and forth, it will touch that brake pad. Depending on the properties of the brake pad, whether it's a semi-metallic, which will wear the rotor, or a ceramic brake pad, which will leave friction material on the face of the rotor. Ultimately what happens is, either the wearing or the transfer causes thickness variation. Thickness variation is a buildup of the surface and it's uneven buildup. When you step on the brake, what will happen is the pads will oscillate back and forth, displacing fluid and causing pedal pulsation. Here's a prime example of a vehicle that came into a shop. The consumer is complaining about pedal pulsation. As we do an inspection, we can look at the face of the rotor and you can see some discolored marks within the face of the rotor. This application has ceramic brake pads. Virtually what has happened is the ceramic materials have transferred unevenly into the face of the rotor, thus causing a thickness variation causing the pedal pulsation. So what we'll do is let's check the lateral runout in this and see where we're at. Typically this vehicle has two thousandths or less lateral runout. We've mounted a dial indicator with the conical washers and we'll check this runout. This vehicle is experiencing six thousandths lateral runout. The specification on this is two thousandths. That is enough to cause that thickness variation in the rotor. Let's talk about lateral runout. When a rotor is manufactured, it's held to very tight tolerances. Anywhere between one to two thousandths lateral runout on a machine rotor. The biggest drawback is today, 85 to 90 percent of our rotors are hubless rotors. What does that mean? This rotor has to slide on to a piece on the vehicle which is a hub bearing, and that may have been on the vehicle for hundreds of thousands of miles. Typically what we see is rust buildup underneath that rotor. A piece of rust can cause as much as 17 to 20 thousandths lateral runout. You have to be sure when you're installing that rotor, is take the time to clean that hub and make sure there's no rust. So we have a few options here to alleviate lateral runout and thickness variation. Number one is we can turn them on a brake lathe. Many shops have an on the, or a bench type brake lathe. You have to make sure that that brake lathe is up to specifications to make sure you hold the tight tolerances. The other option would be an on the car brake lathe, which is a very expensive investment, but a very good tool to alleviate thickness variation. Or the third option, obviously, is replace that rotor. Okay, our option was to replace the rotor, but a word of warning, whether it's a new rotor install or a rotor that has been resurfaced, it's mandatory that you check lateral runout. Let's check the runout on this rotor and see where we're at. We're right at 1 thousandths lateral runout. Spec for this vehicle was 2 thousandths runout. We're well within specification. Just remember, excessive lateral runout ends up with thickness variation. As little as a half a thousandths thickness variation on a rotor will shake the steering wheel out of your hand. 